continuing from the previous video. Um, anyway, if it's true, in fact, that Morgellons is building silicon-based structures, carbon-based structures, and uh, metal-based structures, and crystalline structures inside of our bodies, then it is possible and probable that these components that it's building, that the Morgellons nanites or pseudo-life is building inside of us, are components of a radio system, a resonating radio system. Um, in order to have remote neural connectivity, you need a two-way reactionary radio. You need a, uh, a radio that resonates on the target end, the receiving end, uh, when you energize it, <clears throat> it would have to give you back a certain frequency signal that you could lock onto. And then as you modulate your transmission, you would be receiving the interferometry output of the target human being. Since human beings are, are bioelectrical, since our brains are neuroelectrical, bioelectrical, and biochemical, uh, but they produce an electric, electromagnetic field that is measurable from a great distance away using technology that reduces the signal to noise, uh, increases the signal to noise ratio. Um, the heart also is the strongest electromagnetic component of the body, so combining these two electromagnetic outputs and inserting into the human system um, piezoelectric and uh, electronic semiconductor type components that are reactive to microwave energy at particular frequencies or possibly a near infrared or, or a combination of signals. Um, this is a system that draws energy from the host in a parasitic fashion and once you get the receiver to resonate, in other words, to receive the energy that you're transmitting, bounce it around inside of itself in a way that increases its signal rather than canceling it out. Although some of the canceling out, this is the interferometry, the return signal would be, <coughs> excuse me, um, some sort of waveform. Uh, that would be changing dynamically as the transmitter is transmitting the neural code to the target and the target's brain is transmitting its output, its neurological function output, which is being received by the transmitter. The transmitter using strong AI, quantum computing possibly, is able to, in real time, faster than your neurons can fire because we know that quantum computing and strong artificial intelligence even in regular uh, supercomputing is fast enough to receive the neuro neuro neurological interferometry output signal the, the break the code you know match it against existing uh, data so that it knows what the data is, separating it into optical data, vocal data, thought data, emotional data, biological data, uh, biometric, biological data, etc. Um, tactile data, uh, conscious data, subconscious data, audio data, uh, etc. Splitting it up into streams shouldn't be that hard because uh, if you've broken the code, then you know, you know what each of these streams are, and also the different parts of the brain would have different uh, field strength intensities because of the, the depth of penetration, and all these things can be calculated. So this system is highly dynamic uh, in that it locks onto its target, resonates with the target, um, energizes the target, and reads the return from the target. So far we're talking about plain old radar, interferometry radar, maybe uh, uh, three-dimensional radar, um, but uh, 
This is a, a two-way flowing communication adaptive system where the transmitter is always receiving data from the target's brain as the neurological conditions change is analyzing that data, breaking it down, and then making decisions based on programs, what to do if, etc., etc. Uh, and this is controlled by a, a controller, a person. Now, how the interface is set up, I, I can only imagine. Uh, if you imagine, uh, you know, Photoshop for emotions, or Photoshop for biometric data, where you can take different emotional states and layer them over each other and shift between them. Anyway, this is just my theories on, on how this remote neural connectivity in targeted individuals in mind control works. Um, my theory about the, the, the way it influences you. Now, uh, l let's just say for a minute that that I'm correct, that everybody in the country and possibly in the world has been infected with more gallons nanotechnology sprayed by our government. And this nanotechnology has been over time building its system into the human body, uh, possibly changing the genome structure, I don't know, building itself into the body. And as people get a certain level of infection and a certain length of time with this nanotechnology more gallons inside of them to build these structures then eventually they will come online one after another and I guess the computer could be sweeping and scanning for this I mean there are so many sources of, of external uh, electromagnetic radiation we're blanketed in microwave radiation from from cellular systems, 3G, uh, 4G, it, it blankets the world. More than half the Earth's population has a cell phone, so the coverage blankets almost every populated area of the world, which means we're bathed in this constantly modulating field of microwave radiation. Now, it is true that the CDMA, TDMA, uh, multiple division access, um, systems that are used to, to put multiple conversations into one data stream and break them apart again, that these codecs in and of themselves, the way they have been constructed, can be used by simply slipping some bits around in the bit stream to modulate a particular rhythm uh, of microwave pulses that could be used for brainwave entrainment or active denial system, uh, befuddling, befogging the brain with pulsed microwaves. Now we know this is a fact because we've seen these weapons in operation and, and if you google them, you know, active denial system, you'll see plenty of pictures of the government showing you this. However, these, these, excuse me, these pulsed microwave modulations can also be emanating from other sources, from satellite television, from cellular phones. Um, in fact, if you were uh, serious about global mind control, you would even, uh, I gotta get a tripod, you would even be able to modulate the power grid itself to uh, cause uh, befuddlement and action. This is, this is really ridiculous. Um, I'm going to have to find a much better way of, of doing this. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, uh, you can see the kind of things that are, are going through my mind. Uh, a lot of it sounds like paranoid schizophrenia. However, this is not the case. Um, it's that I'm highly intelligent and that I have been targeted, tortured, drugged, gang-stalked, followed, poisoned, irradiated. I've had uh, strange biological entities shooting out of my body. I've had... I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I've been coated in smart dust. I've been irradiated with electromagnetic energy and microwaves.